I didn't have a Gemara yesterday. We're up to, we're in the middle of Baik Fachai. We're in the middle of Baik Fachai. Okay, thanks. Me and Shalom, okay? Yeah. Shalom biked. I mean, uh, jogged. Jogged next to the bikers? Okay, so let's go. You ready? You have a Gemara there, Mo? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, how you going, Master Mama? Yeah, you can hear me well? No, I need to know what you're up to. Two dots on we the bottom you, of... We hear you perfect. 4B4. Uh, can I hear... Could you let the rabbi tell me? 4B4. He said 4B4. I just can't hear that wasn't, He wasn't saying it like a Black Lives Matter person. It's the 4 No, I know. I four. can't hear one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I, lo- I look at the other side. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <coughs> um, dollar on the base by the two dots. It's around two, four, five, six lines off from the bottom. Two dots. Yeah. We good? Okay. So how you can Yes. Yeah. So now how you can So as soon as we're talking about the movie, the color of the movie being too too high, right? So you can me as a I'm moving. I'm moving further away from the kids. Right. If you're coming to. If you're coming to lower the, the, so the beam's higher than 20. So now what do you do? You got to lower it, right? So what's it in? How do you lower it? Kamamamayat, how much do you lower it? So Gamora says, Kamamamayat, how much do you lower it? Kamadatsarachle, as much as you need, right? So obviously that's not the question. Ella rechavay bekama, how wide does it have to be, right? Meaning, when you have to raise, so you basically you have a, a mavui, a mavui, a kaira, right? A beam covering over the mavui, right? You have a stick, a piece of wood. We said that it has to be a tefach, right? It has to be a tefach thick. So now what you're going to do, what you're going to do is you're going to raise up the bottom in order that the opening shouldn't be, shouldn't be 20 amas high, right? You're going to raise the bottom up. Yeah, so then how, but how wide does that, you, so you're basically going to make a stoop. How wide does that stoop have to be? Does it have to be just the thickness of the tefach? Like this, if you stand on top of that stoop, right? Let's say it's 21 amas high. So now you're going to make a stoop that's an amma high, right? It's going to be only one amma. Like this, you stand on it, and then the lechi is only is 20 amas, which is going to be kosher. Or does the, does the, does the stoop that you're creating have to actually be usable? In which case, it has to be a lot bigger. So that's the question. So how wide, how wide does it have to be? I don't know if why, wide is a little tricky. It doesn't really mean wide. It means how, how, it's not wide. Because wide sounds deep. like it's going across the, how deep. Very good. That was good. How deep. How deep. Very good. Thank you. Right. How deep does it have to be? So Rav Yosef Amar Tefach. Rav Yosef has to be a Tefach just like the beam. Just like the Kaira going across the top of the mobile is a Tefach. So the, the, the build-up, right? The stoop is also going to be a tefach. Abay Omar Arba. Abay says it's going to have to be four. So let's say this is what the Machleik says. The man Omar tefach. The one that says tefach. Kasover mutal l'shtamash tachas akaira. Holds that you're allowed to actually work, on, use under the beams. This is another interesting question. So you have the beam at the opening to the, to the, to the Mavui, right? Let's say again, Rose Street, Sutton Park, whatever it was. Right, so now you put the beam across the opening like this. That tells you that you could carry there. Can you carry under the beam, or can you only carry up to the beam? Right. So what what we what the Gemara is trying to say here is that it's the machloikis of how how deep the build up the stoop has to be is going to be whether you're allowed to go carry under the beam. The mandam or tefach, the one that says tefach is over mutl shdamish tachas akira. It's mutter. To work to use under the kaira, so therefore you have to have a tefach's work of a stoop. arba The one that says four says it has it's usher to to work to do under the kaira. So therefore, what what does that have to do with anything? So this gets a little bit complicated. So that means that that the edge of the beam when it goes down, that's we're looking at it like it's enclosing the mobi. Right, meaning you have a square. You have a square, let's say a two by four. The two by four a tefah? Yeah, four, four, yeah, four, right? So a two by four. So if you put it four, that's a tefah. 
Basically, what we do is we look at the edge of the two by four that it goes down and creates a mechitza, right? But that mechitza, you know, this is the, this is the end of the, the, that's where the, 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 the air of ends, you're saying you can't go past that? Correct. No, but even so, under the P, under the two by four, can you carry under there? So what we're saying, the one that says four tvachim says you cannot carry under there. Okay, so therefore what? So why does the stoop have to be four tvachim? Why? The answer is because <coughs> that two by four is going to to create sort of like a virtual mechitza, right? But that mechitza only works if it's if it's on something that's four tvachim wide. So therefore, it has to be it has to be four four tvachim, right? So that's one way of saying it. Then the Gemara says, "Like the Kuli Alma Kasavi Mutal L'Shtamish Dachas Gadol." No, both opinions hold that you're allowed to carry under the two by four. Right, using a two by four as an example, obviously. Ubalkam if we marsav a kader mishum heker, umarsav a kader mishum mechitz. Now this is more of a like a lomdisha yeshivisha, like amshopul, but a but a more a, a different clear, right? Meaning when you say that when they said that the there's a beam across, right? Why is that? Why does that beam work? Why does that beam allow you to carry inside the movi? So some say the reason is because of heker. Right, like we've been saying till now. So, till now we've been going with hacker, meaning a person is going to be carrying in the mobile. He's going to look up. He's going to see the beam. He's going to say, "Oh, I can't carry past there." That's that's lechi mishum hacker. The akari mishum hacker. Right? There's going to be a shaila whether lechi is mishum hacker either. Right? So therefore, um, it's going to be recognizable if you have a tefach stoop. Then if you have to step on that stoop to get out of the mobile, then all of a sudden you're going to be lifted higher and say, "Hey." It comes into your line of vision. The meaning, if it, if it, if the kaira is above twenty amas, so they're saying it's not in your line of vision. You won't recognize it. Good. So if you build something on the floor that's a tefachai, like a stoop, when you step on the stoop, then you're going to look up. Then you'll notice that that it's there. But the mandav when it says four tefachim says that the reason why kaira works is it works because of a mechitza. Meaning we look at it like it's, and we're going to get into a, a lot into this over the next couple of weeks. Where again, and we just said it a few minutes ago, when you have the two by four going across, we look at that two by four as if it goes all the way down to the ground, right? Meaning it creates a mechitza, an actual mechitza, right? So since it creates an actual mechitza, therefore a mechitza doesn't work unless it's enclosing something that has four tvachim. So therefore, you have to have four tvachim under it in order for to say that the top mechitza is. Is coming down. Okay, Excuse so that's. Me. that's so, Siaka, this, so this lets me carry from the Pavoy? Yes. Or it's not, it's not telling me that I can't go to Rishus Arabim? Right, exactly. Which one? The, 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 the Mechitza, Mashu Mechitza? The uh, Arashita? Yeah. It's a mach- no, you're right. What you're saying is a machloik. It's the mandomer that says Heker. It's just there to warn you. It's like a warning sign. You know, Ad Khan Eiruf. It's a piece of wood that tells you you can't carry past but it. I, I, I need that to make the Erev. How did I make the Erev in the Mavui? I need made it. the Erev. What? The Mavui doesn't need an Erev. It's surrounded all by houses. It doesn't need so, an Erev. So it's just to tell me I can't go to Rishul Sarabim. Both, right. according to both of them. Oh, right. But the other I got to be was, careful. I'm going to go oh. be over the Raisa. Right. Exactly. So, but the other, but the other Mandomer that says for Tochim holds that it has to do with it's Alt Mechitza. Not of what? Alt. Mechitza of exactly. what? That two by four that's going across is actually looked at like it goes down to the ground. Good, good. It, it goes down. It goes so it goes down for telling me I can't carry into Rishul Sarabim. It's not telling that's you. It's, it's created a mechitza. It well, created it didn't a... stop me because it was, it's a virtual. So it's correct, physical, correct. It's physically virtual. Physically stop me. Correct. That's what I'm saying. It's so, a lump of so. No, you're right. It's a lump Tiago, I, I think, I, I don't know how I'm asking this, but the way I, the, I, the way I understand the question he's asking is that it's all Durabanan. Duraisa, we don't need this. So what right. did, why did they require a mechitza? If it's virtual and it's a mechitza, why did they require that? They didn't it doesn't require. do anything. What they did they require. do? It's it's a mechitza to what? You're not in Rishos Rabbim. There's no mechitza. No, but what it's creating, it's creating what? a virtual halachic mechitza. Without it, what would it be? One step over and you're in Rishos Rabbim. No, yeah, but there's no mechitza. There's nothing actually stopping you. But it's no, not so then what's the point of it? You, David. Right. So yeah. No, but you're both right. At least the other. At least the other sheet that holds is a var to what the grabana were exe- geyser. Right. Isn't it a hecker? Isn't that a hecker? No, no, that's no, the other sheet. Oh, we're going for 
Michael, we're going according to the other sheet. One sheet is yeah. that it's a That we all understand. The sheet it seems like it's the same thing. It, well, it, it sounds it's, like... it's not. A, it's not a hacker. It's one this. That's what. That's what it's he's saying. It's just right. Right. If, right. What is so it? What's the point of it? Right, but the difference between the two opinions is: Do you need to have a stoop of fourth tefachim or not? If you hold that it's a mechitza, then a mechitza can only work for a technical reason. A mechitza can only be a mechitza if it encloses something that's fourth tefachim wide. I can't Who say cares? why. So they don't need them. Why? Why they? Why? Why they create a need but, for but the, Because the opinion of the Kaira holds that it needs to enclose something that's four tefachim wide. So why? If, because that's the mitzvah. Any mechitza, that's anything that works as a mechitza. Look in the Rashi, Mandomar Arba Kasava Kaira, right? It says that a mechitza that's materes has to has to enclose something that's four tefachim. So if it's below twenty and the mechitza works halachically, so it's enclosing the entire street, right? If it's just enclosing it, but if you have to raise it up, meaning because it's above 20 amas, so then you need to have it enclosing something. So therefore, you'd have to raise it up, right? You have to raise so, it up. And what, it so, close to but you're right. So there what, really is no nafkamina between the two. No, what I'm saying is so, but at the end of the day, that mechita that works for the four tzvachim really works for everything in that in that mavoi. It doesn't just work for the four tzvachim. So really, it's creating... Well, it works. It works for the four tefachim, and then memela the rest of the mavoi. It's like goes in two steps. It's enclosing that four tefachim, and then because that four tefachim is enclosed, therefore you can carry in the rest of the mavoi. Yeah, this is this is a complicated Indian here. This is this is this is why they say Erevin is hard. It, this is it. This is it. you're saying it's a mechitza. What kind of mechitza? Walk right through it, right? Like my uh, nephew, my three-year-old nephew wasn't wearing a yarmulke. His father comes over to him and says to him, where's your yarmulke? He says, it's invisible. It's like, that's an Erevin answer. I'm just an Erevin answer. That's it. <laughs> right? That's exactly it's what a good vart. It's a good vart. It's a good vart. It's a good vart. Yes. <laughs> anyway, so that's, yeah, that's his second shot. The third shot, Viva is saying with the Kuliyama, Karim Mishum Heker. Everybody holds Karim Mishum Heker, which is, by the way, why we, how we Paskin. So Akiva and Rabar, you're right. We we do pass in that kairos mishum heker. We're having a machlekes. Do you need the heker on the bottom, or 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 do you need the heker on the top? The marsav are meaning heker shomata ke heker shomala. We say it's not really that. I'm sorry. It's not do you say do you not? Meaning does the heker of the bottom have to be the similar to the heker on top? The marsav are meaning heker shomata ke heker shomala. The bottom one is like the top. So it has to have the same same amount. So just like the top is a tefach, the bottom one is a tefach. We don't say the bottom is like the top, right? So therefore, you're going to need a, more of a hecker on the bottom. So four tefachim is enough. I think the pshat in that is is because since you need it to lo- you need to make the opening less than twenty amos. If you're just going to have a, a tefach wide thing, you're just going to step right over it. You're not going to only step on it and then look up. But if it's four tefachim. That's already a little wider. It's more substantial. You look down, say, okay, why is this thing here? And then you say, oh, because it needs, because of the top. And then Mamela, you're going to have more of a, a hacker. Viva is saying, and a fourth shot, the Kuliyama Amrina and Hacker Shomata, Hacker Shomala, that the hacker of the bottom is the same as the hacker on top. We have a different Gezeira. We're afraid that what's going to happen is, is if you're going to only have it a tefach wide on the bottom, the stoop is only going to be a tefach wide. So what happens when people step on things? It wears down. So all of a sudden, that tefach is going to get worn down, and then it's going to end up not being a tefach wide anymore like this. If you do it four tefachim wide, it won't get worn down by people's footsteps. Yeah? Fine. Okay. That's, so that's four pshatim, and what the machlaikas is why, if you're lowering the, the opening, it has to be four tefachim or not. Got it, Punjan? Okay. Jack, does it, ma- does it matter the height of that curve or no? What do you mean? The higher the kaira is, let's say the kaira is 25 amas high, so you're right. gonna, the stoop is going to have to be 5 amas high. Yeah. Yeah. This won't be an issue with the kaira Elion later on? What do you mean? If you to try to connect that to another area, that won't become an issue? It, it depends. It's going to all have to fit into the, it'll all have to fit into the parameters. We're having yeah. enough trouble with the first air. What are you looking for another air for? <laughs> no. Yeah. I'm asking if it connect on another side from that part. If it then would have to fit, it would have to, it depends how you're connecting it with a Tzuras Apesel. Tzuras Apesel doesn't have to be 20 amas. It could be a lot higher. Um, 
the pyro than a dot. It's a, you have, well, depend on how you're connecting it. Fine. Okay. So, now we're going to do the same thing except for the lower end. Let's say the wall surrounding this mavui, right? So a mavui surrounded on three sides and then it has an opening. What happens if the wall surrounding all these houses is less than 10 tvachim high, right? And what you're doing, so what you're going to do is you're going to dig out a hole on the bottom. You're going to dig out the ground so that now you created it, uh, you, you're going to make the wall 10 tvachim high. Right, and you dig out to complete it to make it ten. How much you have to dig? So the Gemara asks, "What do you mean, How do you dig? Let's say the let's let's say the thing is eight tefachim high, only the fence. So you're gonna have to dig down two tefachim. So the Gemara is saying, "Okay, what's the chiddush?" Of course. So the Gemara says, "No, Right, whatever you need to. That's what you do. Ella, like we said before, meaning how much do you have to dig out next to the fence? Right? I think the art scroll has a picture of this. No? The art scroll has a picture of this? Yes. You, yes. Got a, you have the fence surrounding the Mavui. Right? You have the fence surrounding the Mavui. It's on the next page. Here they have the thing. Oh, they have a fancy one. The one I saw is not as fancy as this. Right? So basically, you have to dig out next to the fence. Rabaran, I would say a muscle, the warning track. Right? Anybody have enough people hop baseball? Right? So the warning track is there. I would hope so. The warning track is there in order. Well, I don't know. They haven't had baseball in almost a year for people that are traditionalists, but I'm saying, but uh, right. So the warning track is a certain distance from the wall so that the player realizes that he's getting near the fence. So the question is, if that fence is less than 10 tefachim and you're going to dig down, how far away from the fence do you have to dig? Same question that we had before. How, how deep does the, does the stoop have to be? So here we're also asking, how deep does that digging out have to be next to the fence? Yeah, so uh, so again the same machlokes. Rabbi Yosef Amar Badalid, Abayi Amar Ba'arba Amas. No, it's not the same machlokes. It's Rabbi Yosef says it needs to be four tefachim, and Abayi says it has to be four amas. Okay, now what's up shot in this machlokes? Which is interesting because before we said only one tefach, the stoop has to be one tefach. Here we're saying that it has to be. Um, either four tefachim or four amas. Rashi answers that kasha, but we're running a little late. So, so the Gemara says, Let's say they're having a machloik as a ravami ravasi. I'm not, I'm not homeless. So I meant to do this with Lego, right? To 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 show an example here. But um, if you have a mavui, right? So again, a mavui is a U, a fence with a U, right? So, but let's say one side of the fence breaks near the front, right? The front is totally open, like Rose Street, La Mushal, yeah? Let's use Rose Street as a Mushal. So the front, right next to the front, next to the Hertzbergs, that house on the corner, right? Or the podiatrist, let's say. Let's say part of that guy's house falls down. So that is a break in that opening, right? I hope everybody hops what that is, but okay. Right, it breaks near the corner, but not on the corner, at least not yet, we're saying. But it breaks, yes, so it breaks near the corner. Right, so Mavishinovitz Mitzida Klape Roshay towards the head of the opening, meaning towards the Cornega side of Rose Street or whatever it is. So it Marmashmed Ravami Ravasi and Yeshum Pas Dalid Matir Papirza Adasara. If there's a, a pas means a piece of wood that's four Tfachim between the opening and the break, then the Pirza could be up to ten. And if not, Pachas Mishlaisha Matir, Shlaisha Matir. But if there's no board of four, a four tefachim wide, then it's going to be mutter shloisha, only for lovid, um, but more than three, it's not going to ain't a matter. Shloisha of three and above, it's not going to be matter, right? Um, I th- whoever has an art scroll there should be able to have a, a decent picture of this, right? So the Rav Yosef is the Rav Ami, the Abaya less the Rav Ami. Rav Yosef does not hold the Rav Ami Rav Asi, so therefore he holds all you need is four tefachim. And Abaya holds... Um, I'm sorry, Which picture? I'm, holds the Rav Ami. Um, which picture? I, which picture? Yeah. Hold on. Let me, let me bring it over here, please. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I don't see anything on the bottom one. It's, it's the bottom, bottom picture. One. Bottom picture. Can you, can you get see it, it on the anywhere? digital version, Jacob, or no? Yeah, you could. I could, but I don't know. I think it's copyright. I think the copyright they don't want. So happy. What a great time. Hold on. 
Just get the heat on it. I don't know where to find it. In the... I'm going to sound like an idiot. I don't see a picture of anything fell down. It doesn't say. It's just a, okay, it's just a space. It's under note 18. No, it, yeah, 582. Oh, here right we there. go. Here we go. Here we go. But I don't know how to take it. Can you see it now? Oh, okay. Can I let see it? Can you see it? Yeah. Gamara, can you see this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's like the Gemara has it like that also. Right. I don't see that in my Gemara. 582 on the bottom of Tully. Liner, we Five. started Erevin three days ago. Yeah, what, what, uh, what that for you uh, on? 582 okay. on the bottom, no? Anyway, so you see that break in the oh, wall? Oh, now I see it. Okay. That, that that yours, is, yours is a much better picture. Yes, well, this is the new, this is the new water go. But anyways, that break in the wall. See that little? It's see the real those? estate guy. He doesn't see anything wrong with the apartment. The apartment's perfect. <laughs> yeah, go point with your fingers to the break. I'll see it. I see it in the article yeah. now. I see it. Okay, so it's now a straight it's line. Wood. That piece of wood that's on resting on that cement. If that cement is My parents is there with you. Oh. Yes, if that cement is Fort Fachim, then that break could be up to ten amos. If that cement is less than four tvachim, then that break could only be loved. That's what we're saying. Right? Fine. It's a good thing we didn't take a picture of it because it says reproduction prohibited. Yeah. Anyway. Well, let me get back to the Gemara here. Right? So we're saying, so Rabbi Yosef holds a Rav Ami Ravasi, and Abaya doesn't hold a Rav Ami Ravasi, and that's the reason why he says four, four Amas. So the Gemara says... No, there it's the end of the Mavi. Here we're talking about the beginning of the Mavi, meaning when you're digging it all the way around, that's the beginning of, that's to create a Mavi. This is at the end of the Mavi, so it's not the same thing. So, if you have four Amas, yes. If you don't have four Amas, no. So that basically what the Gemara is saying here is that the Machlaikas between Abai and Rav Yosef is, and we're going to come to this a couple of times, so we have to know this. What is the minimum amount of time, right? What is the minimum amount, not time, what is the minimum amount of area to have a Mavui? A Mavui, you cannot matter a Mavui, according to Abaya, unless the Mavui has at least four Amas of yard in it, right? All the huts are opening up to the street. You need to have at least four Amas, right? According to Rabbi Yosef, you only need to have four Tfachim, and then that's considered a Mavui. Okay, that's basically the machloik. Now the rest of the Amr is Abaya trying to prove his shita that it's four Amas. Amr Abaya, you know, I mean, how do I know the Tanya? Ain Mavi nita belechi bekaira. A Mavi is not allowed with a lechi and a kaira. Right, again, we said a, um, a Mavi, you can fix it either by putting a kaira across the top or a lechi on the side, right? Uh, a stick on the side. You need to have houses and chatseris open into it. And if it's and if it's only as four tvachim, how can you possibly find, right, that you have a chutzah and a bias open into a yard that only is four tvachim, right? How big is a person's door already, right? Again, you know what I'm saying? You cannot, and I'm saying, what the Gemara is saying is you cannot have a mavli unless it's four tvachim, a minimum four tvachim, but you also have to have houses and chatseris opening up into that, into that four tvachim. So if you have a, a mobile of only four tvachim, how is it possible that you can have multiple houses and multiple yards opening into it? Right? So there are how five. Much is, how five much is an amma? How much is a tafach? How big are they? A tafach is three inches. So four tvachim would be about uh, nine to 12 inches. Right? And uh, an amma. Would be an ama, what we said is six tvachim. So an ama is more like uh, one and a half feet to two feet in that area. So it's a big difference. So Abai says it must be that the minimum amount of a mavui must be four amas, not four tvachim. So, like this, if it's four amas, at least you could have some doors open into it. So Gemara says, Vachitem, the Pesach Labadoifen Hamzai, that you open it with the middle, with the, and the middle wall, meaning the back wall. So, you meaning that the length. Uh, the length is four tvachim, but the width is way wider. What type of mavi can you allow with a lechi and a kaira? The length has to be wider than the width. And it has to have houses and yards opening into it. Right? So you need to have, it needs to be the length. Uh, has to be a lot longer. Right? But here, so therefore it has to be that it's only four tvachim. 
So therefore, um, so it's a right to Ratu Abayas. So the Gemara answers, Rabbi Yosef, the Pasuk Lebe Karen's office. No, it's talking about where the opening is on the corner, right? Meaning you have an opening partially on one corner of the yard, partially on the other corner of the yard. And therefore, you, do have, you, can, you can potentially have two houses opening up into a little yard that's four talking by four talking. Obviously, in the practical, it's very, uh, it's very difficult to get that. But theoretically, somebody lives on the corner of this little four talking yard, he could have a doorway there. Okay, so we slug that up. Amar Abayim, you know, Amin Allah. So Abayim tries again. If you have a lechi that's sticking out of doifin of a movi, if that wood, um, if that board is less than four amas, then it's considered like the opening. Dalit amas, but if it's um, if it's four amas, then nidan b'shum mavi. It's part of the mavi. It's arch lechi achal You need another lechi. It would be very simple if Dailam has the picture on this one. It would be very simple to understand this if you have the picture. Where is it? The picture. The picture that Avtali sent. No, that will come up in a second. Uh, where is it in here in the art scroll? Five eight three. I think you're looking for. Uh, I don't even know. What is? Got to have a picture here. Uh, hold on, hold on. What's the footnote? Twenty-eight. No, they don't have a. It's really twenty-six. Is the diagram? Is it for no twenty-six? Right. I think it's twenty-six. Right. It's no twenty-six. But it's okay. not a very good picture. That's not a very good picture. Where's where's the lachi in that picture? Where's the protruding lachi? Right, the protrude. What it, what it is is that wall there. They should that have small, put, I, that I small have wall. A little that small wall is co is enclosing the opening of the lechi. That small wall is enclosing the opening of the lechi. That that's acts what as a lechi. What that that's act? Well, that's what we're saying. It depends how wide it is. If that wall is four amas wide, then you can't you can't call it a lechi. Because that's too big. Meaning a lechi, the Gemara is saying, if a lechi attaches to a wall, it cannot be bigger than four amas. So therefore, if you're going to want to allow them to carry in the movi, you'd have to put that little lechi on the opposite side. Uh -huh. Right? Which we'll see on a base. But if that cement is less than four amas, then it, then it can be a lechi. Okay? So what is going to be a proof to Abaya? So Abaya is saying, why four amas must be that the, the size of a movi is four amas. Because if the size of a movi minimum size is four tfachim, then if that cement juts out four tfachim, right, which is a lot less than four amas, it's around a quarter of that, then that should be, make, you shouldn't be, it should make it not be able to be used as a lechi, right? So therefore, Abai says, it must be, it's four amas. Let's see again. If you have a lechi that sticks out from the wall of a mavi, pachas me arba amas, nidim mishum lechi. If it's less than four amas, it could be a lechi. You will not need that lechi on the other side. Dalit amas, but if it's four amas wide, need a mishum mavi. It's going to be a mavi. It's a lechi achel and you're going to need another lechi to be matirin. Right? So we say. So therefore, Abayis says, you see clearly, mavi has to do with four amas. Rabbi Yosef lafuki mitaris lechi ad ika arba amas. To exclude it from a lechi, it needs to be up to four amas. Yeah. For it to be a movi, but for it to enclose a movi, all he needs is four tachim. So Rabbi Yosef is saying, well, one has nothing to do with the other. Just because the fence can be has to be small and four amas, why does that tell you that a movi has to be four tachim? Two different things. A lechi can be up until four amas, and a movi can have four tachim. Fine, let's go a little bit weiter. Right? You have to stop now. 6.15 is what time is the mincha? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. What's the early Shabbos? Everybody here making a Shabbos? Right. Aaron Kaplan, 615. Is six, 615 over here. All right, so let's just go a little fight here over there. Kufa Amr Rabbi Bachamar, or whoever has to leave, has to leave. I'm sorry. So Kufa Amr Rabbi Bachamar, this is the exact same case we just said before. If you have a lechi that sticks out from the wall of the Mavui, right? If it's less than four Amr, 
we look at it like it's a lechi. If it ain't sort of lechi, you won't know. You won't need the other lechi and the other side opening. Dalit amas, but if it's four amas, neither mishum mavui. It is a mavui. Somebody's got a mute. Yeah, neither mishum mavui. It's sarich lechi achar latira, and it needs another lechi to be be matirit. Yeah, that's so he said. I say lechi hechem amida. Right, we saw in the picture. Where are you putting that lechi? Right. Where's that lechi going? If you put it against that wall, right? Uh, I'm sorry. If you put it together with the wall, all you're doing is adding onto the wall. What does that help? So you know, you're putting it onto the other side. Like in the picture, you're putting the lechi on the other side of the opening. Right? You could even say you put it there. What it, yeah, what it is, is if it's a little less, a little more than the wall, or it's a little less, then it could be. Now, I'm a shtickle of because I wanted to take a picture of the Arab up here in the country has that similar thing, meaning you could attach that lechi to the cement. As long as it's not the same width as the cement wall, let's say you put a piece of wood there, as long as it's a little less than the width of the cement wall, or the wood goes above the cement wall, and then it becomes very recognizable that it's not part of the cement wall, then that would be a lechi enough. Right, which we do that, we do do that sometimes. Right now, that's the picture that Naftali very kindly took a picture of. If you, I don't know if you see the picture on the chat, so that that's a lechi that we use in the Eruv by around by the Inwood train station. And that lechi is, I don't know, I, I never measured it, but it's certainly more than four tuch and wide. Now, the reason why that works is because it's totally independent, it's totally nicker. And you don't have to worry about the width. You could even have it as wide as you want because it's very clear that that thing is there for a lechi. It's not there to be part of any sort of wall. Why wouldn't the, why wouldn't the material, different material be enough? Meaning if you have wood and there's stone, why wouldn't that be enough to be a hex? And a khanami, I think, I think probably would be as long as it doesn't look the same. As long as it doesn't look the same. So the same thing sometimes with an Arab. So we'll use like a picket fence. Can you use a picket fence as a lechi? Just put the wire on top of the picket fence? No, because it, the picket, how does anybody know that that picket fence is a lechi? But if the picket fence has like the end of it, you know, you have those like two by twos that are much thicker, that are like the posts that the fence hangs on. So that sometimes is very recognizable that it sticks out. And therefore, that, therefore we would use that. Uh, we, do, we do that in one of our part of Erev here, but I, uh, maybe um, when I go check it later, I'll take a picture, I'll post it to you know, right? Um, Okay, I guess it's a little late, so let, let's stop over here. It's not so, the rest is something not so hard. We'll continue Mutsu Shabbos. Okay. Good Shabbos, good Shabbos. What time Mutsu Shabbos? <laughs> oh, what time? 9.30, 9.30. 9.30 should be fine. Yeah, 9.25, 9.30. Yeah, 9.25. It's, it's not, ski is here is 58. We'll do 9.30, 9.30. 9.30, yeah. 9:30. Wait, can it be 9.35 again? I'm going to miss enough as. All right, so, so we'll do 9.30. And by the, I promise you we're not going to learn before 9.35. Yeah, fine. fine. All right, it was a pleasure having you. Pleasure seeing you. Chavis, Not man. even close. <laughs> I'm an yeah, absolute. Uh, Both my yeah, legs are I killing now. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Full yeah, yeah, go ahead, Aaron. Amazing. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, she called you. in Brooklyn. Can't hear you. What'd you say? What in Brooklyn? Is there any Arab in Brooklyn that is uh, uh, usable? Depends who you ask. Is that where you're traveling to now? 